Good morning Planet YouTube. It is 11.40am on Friday the 26th of April and it is time for today in my bujo. How are you? Are you alright? Sorry I cut short yesterday but I was just so exhausted. Really, really shattered. So... We are on the 26th, so I need to finish doing the 25th. I will make up and the challenges are penciled and ready to go. Um, oh, I did not have any booze yesterday. I did have a can of fizzy though. And we had chips. I didn't craft. And I need to do today, well, yesterday's word. And I did do my hands and my face last night. Um, let's have a look. We had a really, really good day, Daryl and I. Um, we went out and about, which I've linked to. Um, I'd say my pain was probably there as well, so yeah. Oh, what did I get steps was? I was about the same, I know I was around about 17,000 yesterday. Yeah, 17424. Right, I'll fill that in when I come back with today's pen. Yesterday was Thursday. And I didn't do any of that. I really didn't. I was I was so tired last night. Okay, so we are up to here. God, I didn't do a word for Wednesday either. Okay, so. <laughs> um, well, that was going to be live, wasn't it? Right, hang on then. So let me grab yesterday's pen, which was that, or oh, Wednesday's pen. This is what I get for being lazy, well, not being lazy, but missing out for a couple of days. Let's go. There you go. Live. Because that was an absolute blast the other day. And yesterday's words. Let's go. I can never do a fancy ampersand. It always looks, I think it's because I curved that line too much. Okay, right. I did set up the weekend. Still have to defleet the cat. I need to do that. Um, and okay. photo in as you can see of yesterday that was just us I was waiting for the bus to come back from the range yesterday before I went to see my daughter and her boyfriend
so that's yesterday's set up um, I'll do a little bit of journaling in a minute oh um, April asked me what colour fountain pen ink this was um, it is now listed below April and it unfortunately it's the one without a link because you can't get it on Amazon I bought it on eBay um, it's called uh, Kyo Eero and the colourway is Soft Snow of O'Hara. Okay, it's the last one listed under fountain pens and their ink. Okay, um, I had to buy it on eBay and I bought it on eBay US and got it sent to somebody over there who was coming on holiday over here and she bought it with her. So yeah, that's what ink I use in my little mini fountain pen. Okay. Um, right. So I'm quickly going to journal and then we will get today's set up as well. Okay, today's black cherry. While it looks amazing in black cherry, it is also quite messy. Sorry about this wire getting in the way, it's my phone wire. So I'm gonna stick that on there just in case it decides to bleed. So we don't want it to mar the other side. Okay, and um, now let's, that doesn't look like I've colored it in, but I have it just very, very light. Let's do today's weather. It's Friday, yeah, okay. So, quite nice out there at the moment it's mostly cloudy today it says but the Sun is currently shining so <laughs> to get my little Sun in the middle um, on around each like I use circle 719 just that okay and at the 45 degree angles of no it's 90 degrees isn't it? 90 degree, yeah 90 degree angle there is a black line so what I do is I make sure that I put it down in roughly the middle and I make sure that the up and down black lines are actually on the dot grid because my squares are six cells by seven cells seven cells high six wide so it goes on the middle set of dots then the horizontal ones I put between those two sets of dots because where it's different uh, it doesn't line up on the dots so it has to be in the middle of the squares I'm not explaining that very well sorry and I draw all of my clouds first so that I can be sure I'm not going to overlap like so so then my up and down is on the dots. My horizontal is in the middle of the squares and then I simply go corner to corner. So I set my stencil up corner to corner and I draw the lines. I don't go all the way to the sun, I don't know why, I just think it looks a bit better. There's no measurement on that, I just eyeball that one, like so. And then we write high of low, um, a high of 14 and a low of 8. Uh, sunrise was 05. 49 and sunset will be 8.16 tonight. So we're ready. Now we can change the pen. 
hoping the quality will be a little bit better later as I've got a new webcam coming. So I'm just eagerly awaiting it. So. Mom, my brother's coming down. Is your brother coming down? Oh I've got, no. I've got money. What am I going to do if your brother's coming down? Look, Mum, I've got money in here. Oh, you put all your money in there, did you? Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. We are just going to watch Alex set the car seat in Alex's car. We are. Look, Mum. You've got all your pennies. <gasps> Lots of pennies. Excuse me. I've got a lot of pennies in here, brother. <laughs> I dusted these on my live the other day. For those of you who didn't want to sit through my live, I can show you how I did it if you like. Um, let me know and I'll do it in tomorrow's video. Oops. They are now much easier to shuffle, they're not all sticking together. They're a little bit dusty still. Um, but you know, it's the price you're paying it. But they're now a lot looser, and they spread a little bit more easily. I mean, it's, it's not perfect, but then I am doing it over another book, so it just makes it that little bit easier to reach in and grab a card. Okay, this is the Ace of Blades, or Swords, we may know it as. Um, swords are linked to air and your mental side, okay, your mental health, you, the mind, okay. And the Ace is usually a pay attention card. The Aces are the ones that are trying to get the message to you. All right, now you might be sitting there thinking, well, if it's due with mental health, why is there a dog on an operating table? Um, surgeons have to be focused to work on you. Okay, this dog is obviously quite sick. Um, the surgeons are the ones in control. Okay, so what this is saying to me is that there is, I'm very focused. Um, you know, I know what I want, but I have the ability to help or hurt people when I'm this focused. Cool. Quite oh, sick because I'm talking, yeah? yeah. Um, you know, like the surgeon has the ability to heal or harm, even though obviously they wouldn't harm, not intentionally. So this, I have you? to be careful when, you know, if I, if I make a witty response to somebody, is it funny or could it potentially be harmful to that person could it upset them could it hurt could I hurt them with what I say words hurt you know it's it's that kind of warning so yeah I've put your witty responses could be funny or hurtful don't be overly focused and tactless yeah so 12 45 to 7 30 I'll do that second sec, right, not the 17. We did the raw steps. Well done for doing the raw steps. We did do a lot of steps, didn't we, yesterday? Well done. Thank you, 7.26. I did as well. You did as well, wow. I am a frost award. You did well, didn't you? Okay, now what do I say? 12.45 to 7.30. Are you tired, Mum? I'm very tired. Could you keep waking me up? Yeah. Yeah. That's why, you, that's why you need to get out of bed. Why? Good. But I like to sleep. But you can't. But I was so tired. But you can't get back to bed. Why? Because you can't. Well, I think that's Blooming unfair, personally. You can't go back to bed. I'm gonna lodge a complaint. 
We can't go back to bed. Okay, what are we on Friday? So I'm waiting for the post. <laughs> Every time someone walks past, I'm like, is that the postman? Is that the postman? So, done the loo. Laundry finished in the machine earlier. I've got to go and hang that out. Um, okay, so did that bill come out today? Let's have a quick look. Uh, Obviously, I'm not going to show you my phone um, because, you know. Mum, can you see? I'm going to give you my account number and sort code if you plan on paying money into it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, it's gone up already. Holy cow. Okay, it is in my pending. And it's bloody well gone up. That sucks. Big fucking time. Okay, so we are now up to date. Um, next week we get to split it over the two. I'm very excited about this. I'm also a bit nervous. You know, like what if I fuck up or it all leaks or something but and I'm also like oh it's not white is it which bogs the fuck out of me so you know if anybody knows anybody that can get in touch with Tom away we want white paper like this please proper white 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 not ivory this is not white this is ivory it's off white everything here, here this is white this is white this is white my keyboard is white this paper is white. This is not white. Look at the difference. Hmm. Right. Anyway, that's it. I am going to go and tidy up my desk because there's been this kind of explosion that went that way off camera. Um, yeah. So um, I hope you all have a fabulous day. You can say hi. Hi. But we're going to go out to do the party and then. We're doing Alex's car, and now I'm going to go with my mum and um, my brother. Yes, we're going to put the car seat in my other son's car. And for the first time, he is going to drive with Daryl in the car. He's can passed his test, he's got a licence, he's had his licence for nearly drive? a year now. You can't drive. You're not big enough yet, you can't reach pedals. But he has not yet driven with Daryl in the car. So this will be an experience. Daryl's actually a very, very good passenger. He sits, he's quite quiet, he might gabble away, but other than that, he's not, you know, he's not a bad passenger, which is great. I'm a dreadful passenger. I hold on and shut my eyes and go, <gasps> every time he gets around the corner, I'm, I hate being a passenger in a car. So, and yeah. you had to put your thumbs up. Yes, you please do put your thumbs up and all of that lot, which yeah, I will and, say at the end of the video. And go tonight, in my journal so. and my journal. Yeah. So and I put a picture of us in the journal. You want to see? That bell. You want me to see it? Show you. Look, there we are. Yeah. That was that was when we were waiting for the bus yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. So there we go. And that's why we were trying to get on the bus and go to Rob's house. And we went on the bus to Rob's house, didn't we? Yeah. Mm. And when that man was so rude, he said. When we stop every time, he's so rude. He was not, yeah, there was this old fart on the bus, and every time we stopped at a bus stop or traffic light, he started muttering rude words under his breath, and I was sat, like, the very next seat, and I could hear him. I don't know whether, you know... Me too! Yeah, I don't know whether he heard exactly what he was saying, but I got quite arsy with him in the end, and I was like, for heaven's sake, you know, get over yourself, it's a bus, it's going to keep stopping. But there we go. Anyway, never mind. So we're off and we will see you a bit later on. Bye. Bye. Good evening. It is still just evening. It's four minutes to midnight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's been one of the days. It's been a long fucking day. <sighs> We've been shopping, which is always stressful. One of my kids had a meltdown, which is uber stressful. I bought a new webcam to try and make 
this part of it better, not 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 that part, because that's my internal camera up there. But this part. So I'm really hoping that this looks good. It looks clearer on my screen. Pardon me, but you'll have to tell me. Sorry, I had Coca-Cola and I've got a build-up. Oh, 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 I'm tired. Sorry. Sorry. Let's start again. Um, yeah, it looks clearer on my screen, so you'll have to tell me whether it looks clearer to you guys or not. Um, because, you know, I don't know. <sighs> Pretty though, it lights up blue when it's on. It's, it's, it's quite cool. So. <sighs> I've been out. I've lost my pen. I've lost my pen. It's rolled underneath where my keyboard lives. There it is. I went out with my two youngest boys today, which was really nice because we don't get to do that that often. Um, the challenges are penciled in and ready to go. So you'll have to tell me, okay, scroll back about, um, I've been on for two and a half minutes, scroll back five minutes. How does this look compared to how that looked? Can you see a difference? Or have I wasted my money and I might as well just send this back? You'll have to let me know. If you think it looks better. Please, it looks better. Then um, I'll keep it. <laughs> so, right, challenges are um, yes, I have been drinking, yes, um, I have fizzy and caffeine with it. I've had chips today. I did it craft. Oh dear, yeah, let's do that later. I am um, tired, tired, tired. Hmm, let's do this bit. That is my 0.5. I used the 0.7 on this graph. I don't know why. We've had a little dip due to stressful shopping and um, stressed out kids. But not a huge dip because otherwise I've had quite a good day. It was great to start off with, it all went, it was all going well. And then my camera turned up, it wouldn't do what we wanted it to, it wouldn't focus, not focus but zoom properly. And I got quite pissed off and upset with it. And then my son had a meltdown and my oldest, so that was a bit stressful. Um I've I I, I have I, I have kind of Yeah, I've done that one. Um, this rush has been on. But that's it. Uh we've been out all day and, and then I've been stepping to catch up because I kind of feel like I've let my team down a little bit. No, that's not what I want to do. I have set up the races for my Fitbit team. That's about all I've done. Hmm, okay. Now, on my screen, that looks better. That look better for you guys. Can you read that a little bit better? Doesn't look quite so blurry. Um, you know. Can you can you read my dreadful handwriting? <laughs> I mean that looks sharper. Does it does it look better to you guys? I, I don't know. It looks great to me, but you know, how's it look to you? Does it look good? Should I try it full screen? Oh god, please don't explode. Right, I've just blown this up full screen. 
There's still slight teeny teeny bit of um, um, it's still just, it's a teeny smidgen out of it. What do you think? Tell me what you guys think and um, we'll go from there. I have absolutely no idea how to fucking make this go back down. Oh, hang on. Right. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Going out tomorrow night. Gonna go and boogie. Strut my funky stuff. Do you know the really, really weird thing is? Right. It's not fucking good. I've lost my S size. I've got my XS and I've got my F, but I've lost the one in between. Ah, hang on, the elusive keyboard hole seems to have eaten. Some washi, <laughs> the pen. A combo, a pair of scissors. Ha ha! I found my S pen and the washi that I used. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, right, that's good then. I'll use that in a minute. <laughs> my pot got a bit pissed. No. Oh, well. oh no, that is awful. That is fucking dreadful actually I've never even seen a bleeding heart I have no idea what one looks like it doesn't look like that that's for sure oh I can't remember if I told you um, a couple of years ago my neighbour sold their house and this new girl moved in and um, I it was a bit old at first you know because she seemed quite young and it's a it's a big four bed house, you know, because they've had their loft done next door. It's done years and years and years ago. And it just seemed to be her. And then um, I actually got talking to her one day. And it turned out it was her and her sister. And then it became quite obvious it was her and her sister had a couple of lads, you know. I found out from asking around that, um,. She bought the house outright. <clears throat> That's what I thought. Oh, blimey, she bought it cash. Blimey. And then, of course, the trouble started. You know, there was loud parties that went on till five fucking clock. And I got quite arsy about the whole thing, you know, like you would do. Um, then the sister kind of disappeared. Don't know where she's gone. Um, it quietened down a little bit, and you know, if I sort of yelled out the back door, I, you know, shut it all off now. Barbecues and that got quietened down, and they would go back indoors, and you know, I just thought I oh, would just start and get along. You know, so this seems all right. And she came around when her cat went missing, and all that. You know, and it sort of thought, you know, yeah, that's fine. My sister was obviously the problem. A couple of weeks ago, the house went up for sale. And we were laughing because we said, you know, somebody's been standing out the front there smoking cigarettes. There's fag butts all over the park. You know, it's a real mess. The garden hasn't been done, and you know, that. Oh, she was asking about 30,000 more than what she bloody well paid for it. She hadn't been in there a couple of years, you know. And two Christmases there, I think. I just got home today and there's a sold sign outside. So I'm interested to see who moves in there. I hope. Well, I'm kind of hoping it's a family. I'm also like, I hope it's nobody noisy. 
because we're we're a semi-detached house but we're attached on the rooms side in the big house we were attached hall side so the halls kind of buffered in the noise between us and next door whereas if they have their tv super super loud we can hear it it's really fun if they're arguing or you know you shout or something like that next door can hear it and, you know i'm sure they can hear us it's probably not that grand i'm quite a shouty person you know and um so i'm sort of curious as to you know i don't know I'm curious to see what we get next it's a real shame actually because the family that used to live there i don't even know where they moved because it was mum dad and a couple of girls you know and that house is more than big enough for them but they sold it and they've moved down the road um never even moved that far away really but it just seemed like a bit of a last minute thing because he was out there building this like he hand built this like wooden gazebo thing it looked really really nice you know and then the house went up for sale and it was like whoa dude what the fuck you know you can't sell you've just built that thing in the garden and I don't know, it just all seemed a bit weird really I don't know whether it was her idea or what but he seemed quite happy to sort of stay. And what do I know? We weren't like close neighbours. It wasn't like they invited us around when they had a barbecue or vice versa. It was more like a sort of nodding acquaintance, like you get with your neighbours, you know. But yeah, so uh, yeah, so the house has been sold, and we're just waiting now to find out who's going to move in there. Right, um, I know that I'm going to get shouted at, but I'm still not doing my scent tangles today. It's quarter past midnight, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. So no, it's not going to get done today. Sorry. <sighs> I just want to sleep. Going out tomorrow night. <sighs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah. I'm very, very excited to move into May really really want to test out this paper I want to really put it through its paces you know it's all excited I've started writing out my calendar for May and I'm using my um, uh, uh, ink joy pens <laughs> sorry and um, so far the paper's cut quite well it's brailled you know I can feel it on the other side but that's that's absolutely fine it's, they're ink joy pens but that's the only pen so far that I can actually feel is the braille. Like, I know that I wrote my track on that page because I wrote it with the black there, but I can't feel where I where I drew the lines because I used um, one of these, Pit Artist Pen. So yeah, I can't feel where I did the gelatos, you know, I can't feel any of it so far except the braille bits, but that's, that's the ink joy pens, that's just absolutely fine. So I've got my week set up. It's fun because I've got to wait till Wednesday really before I'm fully in here. Um, Monday is when the monthly parts of it all start. Um, no, Wednesday is when the monthly parts of it all start, sorry. Because that's when we're fully into May. Um, so this book will finish and I'll get to move over. Um, I might do the Zentangles tomorrow just to catch up. I'm aware that I'm behind, you know, but I'm just... There's been a lot going on, so yeah. This doesn't look finished. <laughs> it just it looks really silly. Right, so we're gonna leave it there. Um, I'm, I'm gonna edit this and go to bed. It's gonna be gone one o'clock before I get to bed. It's quarter past twelve now. But I haven't even edited the first half yet. <laughs> I'm just shattered. So uh, yeah. I will see you all tomorrow in tomorrow's edition of today in my bujo. Leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, all of that. Uh, click the book and you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified YouTube brilliant when I upload new content. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you so, so much for all the support you've given me. 
um, the past couple of days you guys loved our out and about um, I got a lot of comments on that which are you know thanks um, would you be interested in seeing a me only type vlog you know days out when um, I'm not necessarily with Daryl or um, you know what's, what's, what kind of things do you want to see um, I, I know that a lot of people that do view today in my bujo you're from the states do you want to see where I live do you, do you know what, what kind of things do you want to see do you want to see what the shops are like or you tell me and do you know what I'll go out and film it I don't give a monkeys um if you're in the UK do you want to know what it's like on the Isle of Wight I can do that too that's absolutely fine or do you want to see what oh <laughs> what life with Daryl is like or I don't know what kind of things would you like me to film? You let me know. Drop it down in the comments. Every single comment gets a like, a love, or a written reply. Okay? Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Take it easy, guys.